Hey, my beautiful Libras, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button if anything resonates. <laughs> I can't get this camera right. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family. Hey, welcome back. Okay, Libra. So before we get started, you already know what time it is. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every Libra that's watching us. I thank you for their life. I thank you for their purpose. I thank you for their destiny. I ask you right now to give them the strength and the things that they need. Strengthen their mind. Heavenly Father, strengthen their discipline and let them be able to act immediately when information is given to them. Victory is our portion. All right, Libra. So before we get started, let's get into these questions. Messages of love and light. And these questions are questions you should ask yourself to come into the higher understanding of what you need to be doing right now. Whoop. And we got it. All right. So the first question is, what advice on life would I give to myself if I was a mother and wish nothing but happiness for my children? Spirit wants you. Everything is really dealing with self-talk uh, with amongst the collective Libra. Spirit wants you to really take the time out and criticize yourself from a loving perspective. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. Spirit is saying that it's time for us to go into an era where we actually nurture ourselves and not put ourselves down. The most damage that we can do to oneself is to condition ourselves that our negative self-talk is okay and that nothing comes from it. That is a lie. So with that, Spirit said, always talk to yourself like a love child. Be be patient. Give yourself time to actually understand and, and just understand self, you know? All right. So this is going to be the energy surrounding the month of April. So with that being said, let's see. I've been using this one. Messages of love and light for the month of April. What's going on with our beautiful Libras for the month of April? Messages of love and light. Mm. So we have the six of cups, Libra. I feel like somebody from your past is is uh, wanting to come back into your world. This could be somebody that you have children, somebody you could have had a past life with, or this is somebody that's really thinking about the past and how how you guys were. Yeah, I'm getting um, something about children. Some of you Libras, you, this could be a childhood uh, relationship. Somebody's thinking about you, or I feel like this could be somebody from a past life or power or your past that is coming back in, reminiscing on some things. And I keep seeing child and I see children in here. So I feel like this could be the mother of your children or the father of your children that is coming back in, wanting to, I feel like they want to refresh um, a situation because this person has love for you. They want stability. At one point, I feel like one individual was not uh, willing to receive, which could be a recall of the separation, wasn't willing to um, give or they were given to other situations. But I see now this person wants to return uh, because they see you as a two of cups situation. They see this as a spiritual thing. Like you all situation goes beyond um goes beyond like this world, goes beyond y'all circumstances. Also in the month of April, it's saying a lot of people from your past are gonna be popping back up to Libra. So just remember if these are people that 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 we let go because they were unstable, you know, or that they made you feel unbalanced, we you know what you gotta do with that. I ain't gotta tell you nothing, you feel me? I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. You gotta live your own experience, baby, but don't we ain't accepting no bullshit. <laughs> Family, I gotta tell you, we ain't accepting no bullshit. I feel a little bit of bullshit in that energy from the past. I don't know. Yeah, I feel, ooh, look how this popped out just like that. That was tight. Y'all should have saw it. It just flipped like that. Like, how you flip still in the deck, bro? Okay. Okay. <laughs> My little Cardi would. Uh, uh. Libra, you got the Nine of Pentacles. This is your energy. Right now, the Nine of Pentacles is saying that a lot of you guys could be in this single type of energy looking really good, self-made, self-abundance. It's another reason why somebody in your past, past friends, past childhood friends, past relationships are trying to come in. Now, for some of you guys, I feel like this is uh, somebody from a past life 
that wants to come in. Um, of course, this is somebody that you haven't had any uh, entanglements with in the past. This is a, this is somebody that is like a strong spiritual connection. It's like when you first meet each other, it's like y'all already know each other. Like, why are we so close and Ninja only knew you for a week? Would you, would you, I'm already using the bathroom in front of you. Like, what, what is going on? Like, all of the little cuteness that went out the door. It's just, we in this bitch, you feel like? <laughs> it's more for some of you guys it's like a, a romantic thing but it's more like a best friend type of energy mm -hmm. month of april you're gonna be on your stuff you could be very busy at this time i feel like whatever you're doing financially money is pouring in on you libra April, I'm claiming as your month. I'm claiming as my month too. So shoot, might as well call me an April. I mean a Libra this month, baby. We gonna be in it this. You no know man, look, you're looking very beautiful. You're looking sleek. You're looking elegant. You're looking curvaceous. So, so for all y'all that's out there with them hips and stuff, I see you going there. I see you. Mhm. Mm and um, uh, yeah, it's like you're you're looking very saucy, intriguing, very um mysterious i feel like in a lot of people's eyes especially people from the past that you used to deal with in april they're going to view you as being very mysterious i feel like this abundance that's coming in they're going to be shocked that you got it you know it's like growing up and you'll see certain people who go play ball you'll see certain people who become uh artists some people who become uh just different things and it's like and, and it's like People never thought you would be that person to, to make it, or they never thought you would be that person that'll hit that that uh, that social climate, that social status, that financial status, you know. And now this is you, Libra, hitting that hole, and you getting it. You 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 ain't missing a beat, Libra. You feel me? Like, sorry, April's gonna be gonna be something. You're gonna be focused on your money. You're going to have people in the past coming in. I feel like it's going to be some people that you got you may have a child with. I'm getting children really, really big because I keep seeing for my child, happiness for my child, six of cups. So, yeah, something about children a lot of you guys are going to be dealing with in the month of April. Um, also, your abundance is coming up. For some of you guys, I feel like this could be uh, 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 the the parent of your child wants to come in. They're probably going to need some 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 financial help because they see that you are uh, making it. And then we have the Ten of Swords. This is coming out in every reading. I just did the. Uh, I just did the collectors read and this is the same thing. You got the exact same cards except for for the Six of Cups. There was a. Um, it was something else, but dealing with the past. So basically, you're ending off situations. In April, a lot of people are coming back in because they see your abundance, and because of this abundance, they are uh, they're they're flocking towards you because you're looking very beautiful, Libra. Well, you're beautiful anyway. I'm not just talking about on the outside. You know, y'all beautiful on the inside, Libra. I like this like sense of balance and fairness with you guys, and it just makes me. I don't know. I just love your energy. You really do have a beautiful, balanced energy. Well, that's when y'all ass ain't in y'all toxic energy. I don't know. Y'all can be toxic too. Y'all be, you know, y'all supposed to be balanced. And y'all ass be like, yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. So with the Ten of Swords, it's like you're ending conflicts. The same thing that I said with the collective read. The same, I, I feel that you have people that's coming in. Friends, family, people that you disconnected from or people that just feel alone the wayside because they were not uh, willing to go that extra distance uh, and just, you know, probably lifestyle. They would contend where they were and you had to keep going. I feel like now because you are shining, there's something about being seen that is happening. People, I feel like you're doing something and you don't even realize how many people are looking at you. You know, it's like it's like starting something you finally got into your groove you know and now it's like you just in your groove you ain't worried about what nobody else doing what they saying whatever you just you just in your shit you feeling good you just vibing with your motherfucking self and i feel like whatever you're doing you're not even realizing how many people are watching you you're not realizing how many things that are how many people or entities are focusing in on you while you're in this energy of abundance just flowing you flowing in this beautiful powerful energy libra and people are feeling that. Your vibration is getting higher. And now since it's getting higher, people gravitating towards you. But these are people that 
were not with you through the process. They were a, a, they were a part of the process. They were seeds. They were lessons. And now it's like now since you at this new beginning, it's like these every last one of these people that's coming up in April. This is so to make sure that you are uh, emotionally disconnected from the situation or whatever got you to the point that you are right now. This is all a lesson. You hear me? So people going to come back in the past. Some exes going to come back, going to make you feel some type of way because you're going to go right back to that situation. Spirit is saying this is to show how much you've healed because you can't take none of that resentment. You can't take none of that stuff with you into your new level. I'm on a new level. New level mean your body, your mind, your spirit. Like you can't, you're not even on that no more. So this Ten of Swords is saying that you are cutting off anything that is emotionally burdening you, emotionally bondage. And it's going to be dealing with people of your past. This could be your baby daddy, baby mama. This could be uh, family members. This could be old associates. This could be, you know what I'm saying? And you're no longer attaching your mental to it. It's like, I forgive you. I ain't fucking with you, but I forgive you. I can't fuck with you. I'm glowing up. Like, this is not the time for me to bring lessons back to my present when I when I finally made it. Clearly, I made it to this point because I had to let somebody go. And you was one of the people because I can't bring you back. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck up my shit to bring you into some great shit. No, you 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 wasn't with me shooting in the gym. <laughs> they wasn't with you shooting in the gym, Libra. That's what you say. <laughs> Libra say. Libra say they wasn't with me shooting in the gym, Stanley. I feel you. Give me one card, spirit. Oh, I said one. Give me two. Well, gave me three. Okay, so the first one I get is soulmate. So. This person from the past, I feel like there's somebody from the past that's coming in. It could have been a possible soulmate, which which I feel like that's what they feel. Uh, and this could be somebody in the past that y'all didn't work out because they were kind of pulling back. They were kind of pulling back, probably given to other situations. You probably got kissed by that person. Also, we have love right now. Love. Uh, and that's under the nine of pentacles. And also, you remember the question, what advice would you give yourself if you was a loving mother to give it to your loving child? Spirit say, talk to yourself in loving ways because you're about to be abundant. And the thing is, you need to know for sure that you are worth everything that's that's coming to you. Do not play yourself. So unconditional love, self-love. Spirit saying, this is going to be the time that you need to love yourself more than ever. ever. This money coming up, I need you to to, to, to get your, your feet and hands done every fucking week. Yeah, we used to do it two weeks, but your money is up. Get it every 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 week. You need that. Go get a, go to a day massage. Spend about a good four hours getting somebody, letting somebody rub up on that body. Yep, you deserve it. Your muscle need to be tense. We getting, we, we getting older. Well, we getting more seasoned, meaning that we tasting better. So that means we need all our body parts rubbed on. Take care of yourself. And then the last in our beast is twin flames. We got twin flames and we have a zen balance. So I feel like this, this spiritual connection in the past, this is something that was probably toxic because it's showing right now that you are letting it go. And uh, I'm going to do uh, a reading on twin flames one day, but not today because that shit could be... Oh, I got to overly explain it. But anyway, uh, Libra, that is your April reading. I want you to know that I love you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If anything that I said resonated, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. I want you to know we are a family. We are in this together, all right? I have a Phoenix Intuition channel where I go through affirmations that we should say daily just to keep us protected, to keep us powerful, because this is just not about what somebody doing, this and this, that. This is about giving us clarity so that we can become the better per the, be the best possible God that we can be. You feel me? Yes, I did say God because that is what we are once you understand it and this is supposed to help you i love you love yourself remember we are the gods and ain't shit they could do about it